Hey guys, welcome back to Country View Acres. So today I'm out here in our chestnut trees. That's what's inside of all these white tubes is chestnut trees. These are, they call them a tree tube. They're a, a tree shelter. They protect the tree from wildlife destroying them. And um, it, they have holes in them. It allows it to breathe and everything. They get, the sunlight goes through them so the tree can live inside that tube just fine. And it causes the tree to grow basically straight up instead of outward. So it causes it to get taller faster. Now, most of the ones you see right here I actually planted last year. And there's only one of them that, that actually is all the way out of the tube in one year. And that's, that's phenomenal to have one um, already over five feet tall in a year. But most of them are probably only around a couple feet tall. And that's what's to be expected from a first year you know, growing from seed. So out of all the seedlings that I planted last spring, this one is the best one. It has already grown up and out of the tube and it is probably about six feet tall. So this has done really well. And when I planted all my trees last year, I ended up buying a bunch of these bamboo stakes and I stuck these in the ground and I used them to hold up these tree tubes. But honestly, these have not worked out very well. These have been really brittle and I'm, I'm either coming out here and, and they're, they're, they're kind of leaning over or they've broken off and they're laying on the ground. And then I gotta come out here and try to straighten them back up. So what I'm gonna do today, one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna replace these. I have a bunch of old T posts and I'm gonna go through here and just put T posts next to them and zip tie them to those instead. And then earlier this year, I actually planted more chestnut trees. I probably got about 70 seedlings growing in pots and they're over in the garden and we're going to bring those out here we're going to replace any dead trees that are out here and then we've got to find places to plant the rest of them and we you know we're slowly going to fill this whole side of our property in with chestnut trees so i've had people ask me why do i plant chestnut trees well there's really two reasons and the first reason the main reason is for deer i want to bring more deer onto the property and think of this as kind of like a permaculture food plot. Um, it's like a permanent food plot, so, but it's gonna take several years to grow. But, um, you know, when these trees finally get big enough to drop chestnuts, they will drop them every year and the deer will wanna come here and eat them. They're gonna seek this out. Uh, most of the, you know, like American chestnuts died off several years ago and there's hardly any chestnut trees in America. And they say that chestnuts are like deer candy. Um, and the deer should wanna come to this property to, to eat them. I will be the only place in miles that they're going to be able to find chestnuts. So the second reason for growing chestnuts is we're basically making a chestnut orchard. Um, it's going to take several years, but once these produce chestnuts every year, they could be another income source for the property. And then I've also read in some homesteading books and stuff that you could take chestnuts and you could actually um, feed those to your pigs and use those as another a source of food to grow out pigs with. So um, I think once these chestnut trees get bigger, we will find other ways we can use them besides using them to attract deer. So let's go around real quick. I'll show you a few of the trees and the difference in size of some of these. So this was a seedling that was planted last year as well. And you can see it's about four feet tall and it almost stands up on its own. It's, it, it still wants to bend over. It takes a few years before they can kind of stand up on their own. The tree tube really kind of holds them up and keeps them growing vertical. I didn't think there was going to be a tree in here, but there is. I've got a little too much grass in here competing with it. But uh, you can see there's a, there is a tree in here. It does have some green leaves on it. Now, most of these trees are, you know, they're already turning yellow and falling off because it's the fall. If there's still leaves attached to it, I'm gonna assume that it's alive. So in this group of chestnut trees, I've got about five or six tucked back in this corner that were planted in 2017. And this is one of them, it's a three-year-old tree, and you can see that it's about eight feet tall. And once they get out of the tube, they finally start kind of branching out and getting bigger. But let's go back, I'll show you the biggest chestnut tree I have right now. 
So back in 2017, we planted 14 chestnut trees going down this hillside. And uh, this one here is the biggest one. You can see that it is probably at least 10 feet tall. Nice, healthy chestnut tree. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it is freestanding. It's not attached to the post no more. It's standing up on its own. And you can tell that the tree tube's not gonna come off anymore. So these tree tubes are designed um, to last at least seven years. So we're gonna leave that on there for a few more years to protect the trunk. And then once the tree's bigger, we'll just cut the tree tube off of it. So you can see behind me, this is the seedlings that I'm growing this year. So I started them in the pots in the springtime and I've just grown them all summer long, uh, keeping them watered. And we've got a bunch of nice little trees here. So the, this summer it was so dry and the ground was so hard, I never got a chance to, to transplant them out there. In fact, I'd afraid they would have just died if I would have put them out there. So I've kept them out here in the garden where I could keep them watered and keep them alive. And now here we are, it is late October. All the leaves are falling off the trees and these are doing the same thing. They're turning brown, the leaves are starting to fall off and they're going dormant for winter time. So this is probably a pretty good time to go ahead and get them planted. So I did end up having five trees die on me, but I still got 75 trees left. So that's a lot of trees to get planted today. So let's go ahead and get started. So yesterday I did get a count of all the chestnut trees we have planted and there was a total of 64 of them and I had to replace 17. So 17 of them had died and that left me I think with 58 seedlings left to plant. So I've been out here for a couple hours this morning trying to plant additional trees here and a lot of it is in this tall grassy area like this where it's overgrown and it hadn't been mowed and I've already been covered in stick tights and everything just trying to work in all this tall brush but uh, I don't really think I'm going to get all 58 seedlings planted we'll have to wait and see I, I have enough tree tubes I don't think I've got enough t-posts I'm going to run out of t-posts plus I don't know if I have enough space for all these trees to be honest with you so we'll see how many we can fit up here and then we'll probably take some of the additional trees and we'll plant them in toward the back of the property but let's go ahead and, and uh, see if we can finish this up so a trenching shovel works pretty good for these small pots. And I noticed when I was uh, replacing trees that a lot of the dead ones that I was replacing uh, were sunken in the ground. It's like the, it's like everything settled. And, um, and it, it kind of, the dirt sunk so much that it kind of exposed the roots of the plant. So uh, I'm trying to combat that today and make sure I'm, putting extra soil back in the hole and kind of mounding it up. But this almost fits perfectly in a hole made by a trenching shovel. And then I take the dirt out of the bottom of the hole, try to fill in all the gaps on the side. And then I just take the rest of it and I mound it up around the tree trying to prevent that from set you know when it settles hopefully it'll still be even with the ground so these tree tubes do have these removable zip ties i got a little latch where you can kind of unlatch them and loosen them up that makes it a little handier i'm gonna try to fold these limbs upward as much as i can so they're going up the tube So I think the tree tubes that I'm using are called a miracle tree tube, I think. And they come with five tubes all stacked inside of each other. And uh, so that basically means you get like five different diameters. So that, that inner one will be fairly smaller than the rest. They come with the removable zip ties already in them, ready to go. And the toughest part is just getting them getting them separated from each other try from the other end
So I was able to plant an additional 17 chestnut trees. So I think we've got a total of 83 chestnut trees along the east side of our property here. And I'm kind of running out of places to put them. I've pretty much filled all this up. You can see all these tree tubes back here. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head to the back of the property and that's gonna definitely be more of like a food plot situation back there. Um, it's gonna be like a wooded situation and we're gonna see if we can find some spots back there to plant these trees. But I don't think, I think I've got 41 seedlings left and there's probably no way I'm gonna get all those planted. But let's go back and see how many we can plant back in the woods. So now I'm at the back side of our property. I'm on the other side of our pond. And back here in the woods, there's this other little pond. This is a sediment pond. So the water flows from the south side, it flows into here and then overflows out and into our pond. And this is all surrounded by trees. So I was wanting you know, to plant back here in all these trees. So I was looking for areas where there's probably the maximum amount of light, looking for where there's trees that are dead or trees that I plan on cutting down and planting them in those locations. So I've got a couple right here in this opening facing the pond this is nice and open they should get plenty of sunlight and then i've got uh i've got like three back there um, i plan on cutting this big tree down it's dying and then i've got another three back here next to some dead trees and then over here to the side you may not be able to see them all i've got another six trees planted back in there i cleared that area about a year ago cut down a bunch of locust trees and that's where I put those. So there should be plenty of sunlight back there. So we've got a total of 14 chestnut trees planted back here on the back of our property. So that was a day and a half of planting chestnut trees. So that burnt up most of my weekend and I still didn't get all of them planted. I think I've got 27 chestnut trees over there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save those until next year. I'm gonna try to keep them alive over the winter time so what I did is I kind of bunched them all together and I covered them up with uh, wood mulch and tried to kind of bury them a little bit in wood mulch, try to help hold the moisture in on them, try to keep them from getting blown over and just hopefully that will keep them alive through the winter time. We won't have to water them or do anything. We'll just, we'll just wait till the spring and see whether uh, they made it through the winter. And if they did, we'll use those as replacement seedlings next year. Um, if we have any that didn't make it through the winter time, we'll just go ahead and, and use those to replace them. So the last chestnut trees that I planted, they were back there on the back side of the pond and they were probably from somewhere over here to about over in here somewhere. And you can see all of those, those white tubes, those tree tubes, you can see those from the back porch of our house. So one day, um, you know, it may take like seven to 10 years, but one day we might be able to sit back here on the back porch of our house and be able to watch several deer back there eating chestnuts. So as of today, I think uh, total number of chestnut trees we have in the ground is 97. And I was shooting for like 100 chestnut trees. So I'm pretty happy with the, uh, with the amount we have, I think. I don't think I'm gonna grow any next year. I think I'm just gonna wait and see what happens and see how these trees mature. But if you guys are interested in growing chestnut trees from seeds, I've got uh, a few videos out there on, on how I've done it. And I buy my chestnuts from uh, Chestnut Ridge of Pike County, Illinois. It's a chestnut tree orchard. Right now they're probably for sale. Um, they're in season right now. And if you buy what they call their chestnut seeds, um, those I think are supposed to be what they call Dunstan chestnuts. It's a, it's a American Chinese hybrid chestnut tree. And that's what I've been growing out here on the property. But anyway, I think I'm gonna call it a day, guys. I, have, I am starving, to be honest with you. I think the only thing I've ate today was a granola bar. Uh, I may have had a bagel this morning. I am, I am hungry. So I think I'm gonna go in and cook some supper. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.